single line branch line for Eastbourne from Polgate on the Brighton and Hastings line was opened by the London Brighton and South Coast Railway on the 14th of May 1849. As the town became an ever more popular seaside resort, two further stations followed. The first in 1866 and the present station designed by F.D. Brick in 1886. There's a rarely now used triangular junction between Polgate and the now closed Stone Cross, which allowed trains to bypass the branch and this track has now since been lifted. Very little is known about the first station except it was a timber structure and was used between 1849 and 1866 when a station building was moved to Wharf Road and became the dwelling for railway families. A new station was rebuilt. The location of the first station was said to be Upperton Road between the site of the current station and the Royal Mail sorting office. There is no known record of how many platforms that first station had. With the increasing services serving Eastbourne and now a popular resort under the London Brighton and South Coast Railway Chief Engineer Frederick Bannister a station was recited a little to the east in 1872 and rebuilt in 1886, designed by F.D. Brick, which vault had a vaulted canopy, a lantern roof similar to Lewis. The station had four platforms, which increased in length over the years. There were also two runaround loops between platforms two and three. Over the years, one of the runaround loops was lost as platforms one and two were built wider. On the 12th of April 1977, platform four was shortened from a 12 car to an eight coach length to make way for the ring road construction. It was then taken out of use and the tracks lifted during the Eastbourne resigling of 1991. So we'll get started here at Eastbourne. Born with 387211, arriving with the 1609 Southern Railway service from Orr to Brighton. Getting ready to depart is 377-107 and 377-164 with the slightly delayed 1605 Southern service and or to London Victoria. Next in to arrive at the station is 377-135, working the 1618 Southern Railway service from Brighton to Hastings. Whilst all turned around and ready to go, 387-221 departs five minutes late for Brighton. Whilst itself all turned around and ready to go, 377-135 departs on time for Hastings. Next arriving into the station five minutes late is 377161 and 377410 with the 1623 Southern Railway service from London Victoria to Orr.
and now split from its trade. 377410 departs five minutes late for all. Next in to arrive at the station is 377142, working the 1640 Southern Railway service from Hastings to Brighton. Parted over on the far side is 377121 and 377445, working the 1633 Southern Railway service to London, Victoria. Arriving next into the station is 387205, working the 1644 Southern Railway service from Brighton to Orr. And all turned around and ready to go, 377142 departs on time for Brighton. And itself all turned around and ready to go, 387205, depart on time for all. Arriving to terminate with a Southern Railway service off London, Victoria is 377427 and 377114. Next in terminated 11 minutes late with a Southern Railway service off Ashford International is 171807.
And all turned around and ready to go, departing eight minutes late, 171807, departs with the 1649 Southern Railway Service to Ashford International. Next in to arrive is 377106, working the 1705 Southern Railway service from Orr to London, Victoria. Whilst right on his heels is 377205, working 1709 Southern Railway service from Orr to Brighton. And with a tag team partner and all turned around to ready to go, 377106 along with 377161 depart off to London Victoria. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed what you saw, click on the two videos here at the end screen. It helps out the channel. Also don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you uh, are new and got this far. And we'll see you all in the next video folks, wherever that may take us. We'll see you then folks.